I was astray. I was, I'm reading for the collective. Hmm. Just waking up with my coffee. Hope that everyone is doing amazing. Thank you for all of your positive energy, your likes, your subscribes, your donations, your sweet messages, your support of one another. I feel like, so there's someone here that's feeling regret. This could be someone that, you know, misses something that was authentic with you. Or they're seeing you move forward with love and now they're seeing it from another perspective because you know they're seeing you with someone else or the idea of you with someone else. They're seeing something from another perspective. This could also be someone who um, had a child with someone else as well or something like that. And they are imagining you as a partner with this person. Uh, sorry, as a partner with them and, you know, parenting their child, that they feel like you would be a better parent. Um, yeah, whoever this is, they, they feel like they lost control and they're in some type of an environment that's very dysfunctional. And someone also needs to know something. There's something about a old car, like a Oldsmobile or a Buick, it's like one of the kind of more boaty looking cars like from the 80s or the 70s. Um, it's like yellow or brown or tan or off-white. There's something about that car and there's something about it being farther south. So whatever that means to whoever it is that needs to hear it. Or, or going farther south with it, or that it is farther south. Um, yeah. So yeah, someone feels like they lost control here. Challenge for where this is. Challenge. The Hermit Reverse. Maybe they don't want to feel ostracized. Yeah, it's like they feel like they're watching from outside, like they're looking from the outside at something. It's like being out in the cold, almost it has five of pentacles energy, but it's more like feeling off. You're like, you're off limits. Yeah, there's something about this um, loving energy. loving energy or romance romance around you. This could be someone who juggled you. Um, and they, they feel like they put all their time and energy into the wrong thing. Something was not a dream come true. Um, seven of Swords Reverse in the subconscious. So this has to do with feeling like they um, they lied or they're exposed for cheating or stealing or that they were stolen from. We have Empress Reverse under the deck. So that they could have chosen an Empress Reverse if this is about love. 
Well, there's something about this page of swords, a message, or someone being witty, or saying something, or looking into something, or researching something. It has to do with this Empress Reverse. And someone who's real draining. People tend to lose around this person, eventually. Um, this is someone who might be out of control, or this is someone who tries to tempt people, you know, with their lower nature. Um, this person could be maybe a bad mother as well. Um, yeah, two of swords reverse. Someone feels like they made a mistake with this person. They chose an empress reverse, they made a mistake. Someone might have felt like they were... I don't know, they weren't taking something seriously. They weren't seeing that time flies by. They weren't seeing that these choices have... <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word magnemonious. I don't think that's a word, but it's the one word that sounds like that. Big, big, big effects on our lives. These choices, if someone was doing something out of spite or they thought something was going to be a fun adventure, and they got into some sort of a serious commitment with this person. You know, there are big ramifications and that's what they're, they're that's what they're seeing. There's, I feel like they see that there was genuine love, that you were genuine, you genuinely loved them and they played games and now they feel like they're on the outside Deep down, they feel like there's something about stealing or cheating in the subconscious connected to this Empress Reverse. So they could feel like maybe they thought that they were the ones that were the ultimate game player here, but they might be realizing, at least subconsciously, that this Empress Reverse knew exactly what was going on the whole time. You know, someone could have been in competition with you, and it's like this. Someone manipulating this person because they wanted wanted what you have. Yeah, that you're a queen of cups. You deserve the best. You're a queen of cups. You're genuine, you're loving, you have a good heart. It's like somebody played games or discarded you. Someone discarded a queen of cups for an empress in the reverse. Yeah. Yeah, nothing but bad memories now. Someone was vain with sweet, unconditional love. Um. Yeah. And all, this is like you looking back at it. Someone did something for far too long. That's, I feel like that's you looking back at all this that happened. It's just unfinished business, bad memories, stagnancy. And it feels like someone's trying to be clever about some sort of communication or message um, or research or looking into something. Yeah, and it was all, they... Yeah, they see they made a mistake. Two of swords reverse with this empress reverse. There's... They thought they were making some kind of a, you know, something seemed like it made sense when they did it. But now, especially, you know, it's just more, it's more serious than whatever game they were playing or whatever they were doing here or whatever their priorities were. It's like, this person can't hold a candle to you because it's not genuine. It's not genuine. Whatever this was, was based on 
greed, lies, games, manipulation. It wasn't, it wasn't genuine love. And also, I feel like that's the way this person carries themselves in their life, because they're in the reverse. They haven't done the work on themselves, they operate out of their shadow. So this is not someone you want to be parenting your, your children. I feel like someone sees something about that as well. And I think also they're in some type of a nightmare here. They're dealing with a lot of anxiety. Because it's like they made some sort of lifelong decision. They made a choice. They made a choice for both of you as well. Because I don't think that there was anything you could do to, to... I feel like, what can you do? What can you say? What can you do or say? Yeah, something was not a dream come true. This, they could have gotten into a situation that was overly indul indulgent. Maybe it seemed like it was more fun or something like that, or some, this Empress Reverse might have appealed to this person's lower nature, or the more you know, I don't know, because I feel like Queen of Cups an experience with a Queen of Cups in the present tense is beautiful. I think an experience with an Empress Reverse that's like a a party scene that's very indulgent is a, an, another experience. And this person chose this party party energy to live their life with. That's yeah, but I feel like they've got these romantic feelings, or they see you in in a new relationship, or one heading towards you, or they wish they could, or there's something about, maybe this is a work situation. You know, someone wants to come towards you and put the work in, or this is a situation where they want to work with you, or they see someone working with you, or that's the energy, someone's work, working with you or coming towards you, um, putting the work in. Well, this has to do with feelings, feelings at work or some sort of friendly gesture at work or in your career. Um, so they could be seeing you. They just, they feel like they're on the outside looking in at positive, good energy. Um, Yeah, it's something about marriage or structure, tradition. This could be them. Seeing the more, like the sweeter version, the more traditional version of the choice that they made, the, the, the one that is the kind that you read about in the storybooks. It's beautiful. Now they, they see it. But I think that could be what direction you're heading. Nine of Swords. And it's... They created a nightmare for themselves. Because they made a big choice. They essentially, they discarded their sweetheart. I feel like you were in their life and they they fumbled you. They didn't take it seriously. They didn't value. They didn't value genuine love, a genuine person. And they, yeah, they thought something was a joke or I feel like also I think that They didn't recognize the... The love you had for them, the way it made them feel, I feel like it boosted their confidence as well. And they didn't... Recognize that that's... I think that they were living off of that confidence after you were gone. 
for a while. It wasn't coming from this Empress Reverse. And I feel like also that's what maybe even attracted this Empress Reverse in the first place, who was in competition with the Queen of Cups. And they fell for it. Um, recent past. Seven of Wands reversed, so it seems like they partook in something that they shouldn't have because now they can't defend themselves or they're not protected. There's something backfiring here energetically. So they could have been real um, mean and hard towards you as well with this Empress Reverse. Um, it's something they lost control. Someone lost control here and now it's a nightmare. And they feel defeated. So this person could be just very unbalanced to feel like they needed to control a situation that was a two of cups, that there was some game that needed to be played, or that it wasn't anything but just actually the gift that it was. There was no catch. They thought there was a catch, they needed to control it, or something like that. But I also feel like there's something here going on where they're in some type of a nightmare in regards to you and a Two of Cups that you're in or that's coming your way. I don't know if this person was trying to hold you back. It's like they fumbled it, they fumbled it so you can't move forward. Yeah, judgment, waking up, facing a reckoning, seeing seeing the bigger picture here, the bigger picture. The version of themselves that they missed out on. Um, and not going to, another you is not coming around again. Ten of Pentacles reverse, it's creating a loss. A financial loss. I feel like there was a lot of abundance connected to you. It um I feel like this person was prospering around you. I feel like they didn't recognize it. I feel like um they were coasting off of that energy with this Empress reverse but it's dissipating. I also feel like they did something here to block you from moving forward in your life and now it's backfiring with this Ten of Pentacles reverse. This could also be a situation where they chose money, uh, an adventure, what they thought was adventure, um, money, adventure, and it's backfiring. It's backfiring. There's a loss here because people tend to lose around an Empress Reverse, ultimately. So, you know, this could be, it's just an unhealthy environment. So there's overspending. It's hard to control. Um, people are emotionally off balance. They're not clear. Um, there could be overspending on partying, on just not focused on work it could be, you know, the, the most simplistic version of it. Someone, this Empress Reverse could be spending all of their money, could have spent all of their money. There could be corruption here. This person could be trying, you know, convince this person to go the wrong way, um, business-wise, um, all sorts of reasons. They could have spent their inheritance, invested the wrong way. Um, this person could have stolen something from you with this Empress Reverse. They thought something was funny. Um, they weren't willing to face their emotions and they found it easier to be mean than to face, face their feelings, uh, to be vulnerable. Um, they went with the people that there was jealousy around you. They sided with the people that were jealous of you. They didn't mean things, they could have stolen something from you, tried to block your finances, and now that's also why this is backfiring. Definitely, they lost control. 
And I feel like they felt like they were on top of the world somehow while they were doing this, which is really crazy. Trying to hurt a queen of cups, feeling on top of the world, trying to hurt a queen of cups. A good person, a kind-hearted person that loved them. Um, there was no catch. There was literally no catch. Um, or maybe they thought that that was worthless. I don't know. They don't think that now. Yeah. Either they're watching someone come towards you, or they wish that they could do it again, or revisit those sweet feelings they know were genuine they could be sick over it unable to relax um i feel like you saw this coming because it seems like the most logical conclusion if you had genuine love with someone i think you would have were trying to work with them or kind of Give, give someone a wide, um, I don't know, give them a lot of room so that they can find, find themselves not putting pressure on someone, but they took that and you know, they kind of dragged you through the mud to the point where you couldn't hang on. You just could, absolutely could not hold on anymore, but you felt like the reason you were holding on was because you felt like there was something genuine there and worth worth the, the effort, worth the, the patience, worth the growth that you could see how you could build with this person and you know that love, love balance, love and balance, you know, an abundance in love creates an abundance um, in the material world as well. A solid home, a solid home, a solid relationship creates abundance. Six of Cups reverse, they feel like there's just only bad memories, there's no way to return to the past, um, and they feel like they're watching from the outside, you be happy, while they feel stuck in something, or trapped, um, and, or also I feel like this person tried to trap you somehow, um, it's like they wanted you to be stuck or trapped, um, real sick um it's kind of like if if we were children this would be a different story but you know you need to pay your bills take care of your family um you've got you've got some mission you you know things you've got to do um you, you can't have people getting in your way stopping you from moving forward experiencing love um Focusing on work, um, you just can't have that, you know, trying to ruin your business with this other person. It's like they embrace this devilish energy, went hand in hand with someone to attack a queen of cups. Just doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, if, who I feel like was jealous of you, they went with someone that was jealous of you. And all you did was love this person, and then they turned around and attacked you. Death reverse. In the near future. Um, that could be someone feeling like there's still a chance. That could be someone who's living with a, uh, a lot of stagnancy in their life. They could be sick. They could be trying to hold on to something, stopping something from... They don't want something to end permanently. Um, yeah, definitely trying to hold on. There could be finances involved. Trying to hold on to something. Trying to hold on to you. Trying to hold on to your energy. Um, but you're recovering. So this could be someone that... I don't know. They felt like they needed to... Stab, they stabbed you in the back a million times. I don't know why. Ten of Swords reverse, Death reverse. So they wanted to hold on to some sort of like they wanted to inflict pain, but um, I don't know why. 
um, holding on to being able to inflict pain, holding on to being able to inflict pain. Maybe that's how this person feels like they understand love. It's like when you weren't in their immediate space anymore, then it's like they needed to try to attack you for some reason. This could also have to do with some type of security, some sort of twisted idea that they need to appease someone who's jealous of you in order to stay in a position of power. So someone really is lacking in um, morals here then. And I think you became ice cold with this person. And I also feel like they didn't recognize this part of you because you had no reason to show them this Queen of Swords, there, it just never, a, it, it hadn't come up yet. Um, Queen of Swords, you are very perceptive. I feel like they haven't seen this side of you. Um, it's like you're an ice box. You're very cold. That's how they see it. Um, but they know it's because that's because it's the actions they took. Um, it's a nightmare for them. There's also something that they've got to hold on to. It's almost like they can't get out of what they set up now. But then they're also feeling like they're blocked from your energy. And it's a nightmare um, for them. The lens they're looking through, Queen of Wands. So you see it was very confident, beautiful, creative, taking action. It seems like you're looking away, you're not even focused on them. Yeah. You you're happy. Or you're you're focused on your happiness. They can't there's nothing to hang on to. They can't hang on to you by you know, this person broke your heart, is what they did. They broke your heart. Now it's a nightmare that they broke your heart. What did they do? A series of bad choices. They're in some sort of situation that is not a dream come true. They broke your heart. Um, they refused to grow. Well, they could have been trying to stop you from moving on somehow. And now you're just this queen of swords with them. Also, I don't know if someone felt like you were going to cave emotionally. Um, that you would be such a broken mess that you would cave. But this is not love. Um, this is not how we treat people that, that we love. This is not how... We do love. You You were in some type of a situation with this person where you really genuinely loved them. There was no... I feel like also you loved them and you felt like there was a passionate connection and um, there was no catch. This person overcomplicated something that was a blessing now they feel like everything's falling apart in their life. They made a wrong choice. They went the wrong way. I mean, there's one thing is, you know, if they didn't feel ready, moving on, moving on, you know, that that's enough that, you know, that's enough. They didn't need to then go back and inflict pain or try to make you small or block you from living your life or try to make you look dumb or ruin your ruin your job or your career. You didn't need to also do that. Or try to make some type of like a mockery out of you. Um, it's like because they didn't choose you, then they had to make you look smaller or ruin your life or something, or it's too far. 
So, so now you're moving confidently forward. You, you've definitely recovered from whatever this was, um, or they see you as recovered and looking, looking great and, um, just focus on your happiness and taking action, um, in your life and that you have nothing but bad, bad memories. You're not looking back. You're moving forward. Um, this person got into some sort of a relationship. I feel like while you still had some type of a connection with them, um, which is also a lie, it's a lie. Um, so they made some type of a commitment um, while there was still a connection, a deep connection, love. You were, you had love with this person and they betrayed you. Um, now, now they see, they see why, you know, love is what it means, the bigger concept of it, what, what the blessing was that was connected to it, what it means for their own abundance, what it means for positivity in their life, what it means to have a support system to be able to, you know, not be led the wrong way by someone who truly cares about them um, without, without any catch. It doesn't matter about how much money they do or don't have, what, what job they have, who they know, how they're dressed. Five of Pentacles reverse in the environment. Wow, devil under the deck. So I feel like they could have someone around them that, that is obsessive and toxic that um, doesn't want to let them go. Um, this could also be something to do with their financial situation. Um, there's some sort of toxicity or obsession. And I feel like because this is in the environment, this five of pentacles reverse with this devil, they went real low. They went really low, uh, low vibrational and they come across as low vibrational. They come across as either dependent on some sort of, some sort of addictive pattern in their life or, um, toxic, shadowy bondage, addictions, jealousy, materialism, whatever it is. Um, that's how they come across because it's in the environment with this five of pentacles reverse. They could be having some type of financial hardship or, or people know that they wish they could get out of the cold with you, but they're in this toxic energy or that they went, they really stabbed you in the back with really low vibrational actions and energy. And now they're living in it. It's like living in toxicity. They're toxic. That's, and, and then it's something to do with you overcoming some sort of heartache that they caused for you. People know about this. It's like they can't move on or someone can't move on from you healing um, or something like that. And you moving towards this celebration, this wedding, this happy home, this union. And they're, and they're under judgment. Their fate, they have to face, face whatever this is. Um, they could be seen more clearly from this vantage point. They could also be, ha they have to face a reckoning in connection to what they, the actions they took towards you. Because I feel like, you know, walking away is one thing. Walking away, not being able to, you know, feeling overwhelmed, not being able to understand love. You know, everybody comes from different backgrounds. Sometimes people can't, they can't do it or they don't recognize it or they're not mature enough or whatever it is. But attacking you. That's the bigger problem. Yeah, energetically from the universe. That's why they're under judgment. Um, 
I feel like you were a blessing and, you know, they messed up. They know it. Um, and now they have to watch you move forward. I feel like they were trying to control it somehow, too. Um, yeah, hopes and fears, Ace of Cups. You starting again, you loving yourself. So this person could have tried to cut down your confidence so you couldn't move forward. Um, yeah, and they're in some type of a situation that was very self-indulgent, that might have been very hedonistic, that it doesn't lead anywhere. It's not... This is not something that is... This, this this isn't long term. This isn't. They committed to a situation that maybe should have lasted a few nights. They committed lifelong to a situation that has no substance. This is not something that can be. This indulgence doesn't lead anywhere. This is not where, where you commit long term, but that's exactly what they did. They went the opposite way. And now you're recovering. So that's the nightmare. Um, they really hurt, hurt your feelings. They hurt your heart. They broke your heart. Um, I feel like also while when they did this, I feel like you were still very, very much connected. I feel like as a queen of cups, you're very empathic. I feel like you felt like you had a connection with this person, with this ace of wands as well. Like you could really feel them. And I feel like they got into another relationship while you could still feel one another as well. So it's like you could feel the other person around them and um, still had great love for them while they did this, while they're during all this hedonism, this partying, this self-indulgence. Um, yeah. Like this person lied, they lied. Now they see you getting this, this blessing, you're moving forward, you're moving towards your happiness, you're energized, um, you've overcome what they did, this heartache. Um, you know, you had a genuine relationship with this person and they, while you were still emotionally connected, they moved into something else that was very indulgent and you could feel it the whole time and then they turned around and attacked you while you still loved them you still loved them deeply and they were attacking you while you loved them which doesn't make any sense why would somebody do that outcome page of wands reverse bad news <sighs> this person's gonna receive bad news that's the outcome Eight of Swords reverse, they're stuck, or you're not stuck. They wanted you to be stuck or trapped, but you're not. Um, why did this person want the collective to be stuck or trapped? Something to do with like this final ending, having to do with work or a group of people working towards a final ending. But you stood your ground. So they were part of something. They, they, they were actively trying to create a final ending for you. Wow. I think that they didn't fully know you because you had a lot more going for you and a lot more going on. And I don't think that you were purposely keeping things from them. I feel like you 
you felt like all in good time. Um, I just feel like it was the nature of your relationship with this person where you weren't purposely trying to hide things, but they didn't fully understand who they were attacking. Um, now they're feeling, they, okay, so they wanted you to be hopeless or to block your light. Now they don't have a plan. There's some sort of lie here. Um, so they told lies about you. They really broke your heart. Um, why did this person want the collective to be trapped? What is this trap about? Heart chakra reverse. Not being able to make moves. Bl a blocked heart N and not being able to have a choice, no choices. A broken heart with no choices. But they feel like they made a mistake doing that. Now, now they, there's, there's no plan. Now what? There was no plan after that. There was no plan. Now they feel sick. Why did they want the collective to have no choices and a broken heart, a shut down heart chakra? Root chakra, reverse. Four of wands, reverse. They didn't want you to speak the truth. Something about not being able to achieve something as well. It's like blocking your milestones, blocking your achievements. They want you to be trapped. Not be able to speak the truth. Not be able, not for your voice not to get out there. To have your ha your heart be shut down. For your voice to be shut down. For you not to be able to communicate. They wanted to, you to be quiet. They didn't want you to get this milestone. They wanted you to be quiet with a broken heart. And for you not to get this milestone or this marriage or this happy home. They wanted you to be hopeless. Okay, but this is all coming out. Why did they want the collective to be hopeless? Because someone wanted reward without effort. They didn't have a plan. I don't know if someone told this person that you were a gold digger. I don't know, but I feel like there's someone here who is more mature than this person that is righting a wrong in regards to you. This could be because they were connected to a gold digger or there's a gold digger that insisted or something like that that they chose someone who was jealous of you that need that would only feel secure if you were shut down or blocked there it, there's like a group of people connected to it so they were bully, bullying you with this person they wanted the collective shut down for this person this, there's like someone here that's real entitled. So someone was stealing from you. They wanted you shut down or blocked. And they didn't want you to be able to move on. Yeah, it's keeping, keeping you stagnant or stuck. Something about keeping you stagnant or stuck. Stuck in some sort of like sense of loss. 
yeah, not being able to have a new beginning. So they wanted you in some sort of like stuck purgatory. But I feel like there's something deeper going on. These are a lot of blockages they wanted for you. I feel like there's the layers where they were not able to register that it was, or they didn't know what to do with real love. Um, but I, and I feel like they chose someone that was more vibrationally matched because they were, it was easier for them to play games and that's more what they were used to or something like that. Um, why did they want the, okay, they're sick. They're sick over these bad memories. Now they know you have bad memories. Or they want you to be sick with bad memories. With continue, okay, sick, always looking back at the past. They wanted you sick, always looking back at the past. But I feel like this is them now. They're stressed because of the memories they created for you. They wanted you to feel sick and stressed over them, blocked and stopped, but now they're stressed over what they created. They created all these bad memories in connection to them when you didn't deserve it. There's no point. There is some sort of a relationship that's... Or this was, they created a distance between you and them that because of these memories, there's nothing they can do. Yeah, there's something about them. Wow, here we go again. Illness, they're sick over the bad memories. sick over something to do with a happy family and friendship. I think, okay, so you were genuinely this person's friend. You were genuinely, you genuinely cared about this person. You loved them and you liked them. You, you could have had a family with this person or you wanted to build a family with them. I feel like this person is now looking back at the memories. The happiness. There was something very genuine here. Okay, I was wondering if that was going to come out. S right. Ceremony, mystery, magic. So... There's regret over this love. Um, we feel like they're on the outside looking in because of what they did with these people. Indulgence, the same as this Nine of Cups reverse. They indulged these people. They went into some sort of rabbit hole with these people. But it's not sustainable. It's not based on anything genuine. It's if someone continues this, it doesn't lead anywhere. It's not productive. They took some type of a risk with these people. Yeah, going too far down this rabbit hole, it just... It's not substantial, it's, um... 
this is like a way to lose one's vitality. I feel like that could be also why they see you as this Queen of Wands here, because you didn't overindulge over time. That will... Yeah, I feel like they want to apologize. They... In this situation, everybody just cares what they can get out of something. There's feels like very little self-care here, and it just, it could have affected someone's health. No, there was no one here to say, hey, um, you know, you're looking a little bit pasty. Um, are you, are you unwell? No, people just care about, you know, what's the next party or whatever this is. And there's a snarky energy, there's snarky energy, everything's superficial and snarky. Um, the Hermit, Reverse, um, now they feel on the outside looking within, or feel, I feel like that's what they wanted for you, to be looking at this party and feel left out, but I feel like you were supposed to feel ostracized. But I feel like that's how they feel now. But ostracized from your sweet energy, your love. Um, some sort of snarky group of people here that they surrounded themselves with. Um, illness. You're not, you're not ill. You're not ill. This wasn't, they didn't win this way. This was not how to win. You're not cursed. So there is something else going on here for sure with whatever this is. Ceremony, mystery, magic, right? Something just seems really um, dark here. Yeah, someone wants to apologize. Deep down, Seven of Swords reverse. This was a lie. Someone, someone was trying to steal something from someone. Stress reverse. I think the majority of the stress has to had to do with the fact that this was all happening behind the scenes and people didn't know what what was truly happening and one of the reasons that you're not um, you're not stressed is because they're exposed or becoming exposed, this group of people, and they're in a nightmare because they try to steal something from you, though. There's something that someone tried to steal. You're, you're someone that has a big imagination and you like to be in sweet energy. You're someone that is very sweet. You like to... Your sweet dreams, your imagination. Because someone was trying to shut you down. Someone here was very stubborn. And yeah, someone was very stubborn and trying to shut you down. But you won't quit. This person really didn't understand you very well. So I feel like someone got confused about your sweetness or this fact that you seemed like you like to, you know, search through the ethers for inspiration. Someone that likes to stare at the clouds. Someone that, um, you know, loves to see the beauty or the mystery or the sweetness, um, they, they misread, they misunderstood. Yeah, and I heard a ding. Um, seven of Wands, reverse, they can't defend themselves. Evidence, there's some type of evidence that maybe they were trying to block, but it's, um, something came up, they weren't, they weren't ready for something coming up here because they were overindulging with these people. They overindulged. 
feel like they are they were taken advantage of they I feel like people know what their weakness is death reverse in the near future it has to do with being overly um, attached to some type of material things so there's some sort of stagnancy trying to hold on to a situation because I remember seeing the four of pentacles as well under the deck when this came out so there's definitely something about holding on to material items but it's creating some type of some type of stagnancy this person really ruined their life with whatever they tried to do here because they were so stubborn because they're dealing with someone that was very stubborn um you're you're way more calm than or we've got way too much inner peace they just did right they read you wrong there's a whole group of people that collaborated here are they going to try to block your collaborations you're, you're comfortable you're comfortable and you're not blind to what they've done or what they're doing or what this group is doing and they feel a sense of ominousness they feel haunted they feel haunted um and, and worried and they're trying to hold on to something there's like money they're, they're still wearing a mask they're still trying to hold on to something they shouldn't have bullied you queen of wands you're doing you're doing more than more than fine I feel like there's something about this juxtaposition or this stark kind of the difference because I feel like this person is like sick or dull or gray and you have all your vitality. Yeah, you're not taking a loss. You were somehow you were supposed to take a loss. You're a okay. You're having sweet dreams. You're comfortable. You're not. You're not experiencing a loss because of this third wheel. So there is something about this. Something was supposed to be biting. You weren't supposed to recover. Yeah, the sweetheart was supposed to go down. Something was a bad idea. There's something about blocking your, your vision. Someone took some type of a commitment or a vow here. Um, now, now, now they're worried about this decision because they also they see you gaining. Um, you're this queen of wands here. You're you're vibrant, confident, action oriented, feminine energy that is also very enigmatic. They're, they feel worried about this decision they made watching you. Um, they did something very unjust. And um, now they, it's like nothing, it's not working the way they thought. You're, you're very passionate. You could be traveling or you're, you're an ex, in exploration mode or you will be. Um, you could be starting a family or will be starting a family, or that's what you're focused on. Um, you didn't quit. You didn't quit. Yeah, you're you're comfortable, satisfied. You're you're good. They they wore a mask, and something is over here. There could be something about a house. 
Someone did something they shouldn't have for a house. There's something going on with this house. There's a problem with this house. They're in some sort of endless haunted situation with a house in a house. Um, five of Pentacles reverse. They, they're trying to get out of the cold. People see them as toxic or these people who really in, indulge in dark stuff. Um, they could come across as like theory family. They could be trying to come back to their family. It's something to do with memories. They want to get out of a situation where there's no connection. They see you as very stable with inner peace. Either they want to build a family with you or they want to come back to their family. Um, yeah. They see the situation as stable and that that is the true way to the goodness, the good energy, choosing good, choosing a good, a queen of cups, someone with a good heart, a good situation, something that is earnest, that that is the way to build. There's some sort of merit here. Um, they feel like being near you or around you, um, I don't know, they're in some type of a nightmare. They want to get out of this situation where there's no connection. Or they want to get over the hump, the bad memories they created, being non-committal with you. Or they broke a contract with you, they ruined their life. So this person might have known you were some type of a soulmate or something and they threw it away for some type of indulgent situation where they thought they were going to get something out of it. They just didn't fully understand your your inner peace um, and how that's connected to your fortune. They didn't fully understand it. There's something about them compromising with these people, they did something, they compromised with these people, it was very unjust. They did something real mean regarding finances to, to make these people happy. Um, but you wrote above it. Um, they're worried about you having this new beginning. Um, I don't know if they want a new beginning with you, but it's like your self-love, joy. Um, you moving forward, finding love, or you're in a new relationship. This has to do with some sense of ominousness that they didn't reach their goal. There's some sort of insidious energy connected to your new beginning and them not reaching a goal because they did something unjust in regards to you. So it feels like something's gonna backfire. This is bad news. Because they shouldn't have done it in the first place. And they know what whatever they did here for this material well-being or this overindulgence with these, these people that it's backfiring. Um, they did not triumph with this. Um, yeah, there's something here meant for you. That's connected to this treasure. And it's like, it's almost like you couldn't be induced, if that's the right word. <laughs> you 
yeah whether it's subcon subconscious suggestion or whatever it is it's just not working it doesn't work on you yeah you are focused on or open to or in the beginnings of something here eternal love a happy family parenthood Um, and you're not daydreaming about them, you don't think about them, you're not scared, you're not afraid of whatever this was, <sighs> they did something really unjust, no, you're comfortable, you're good, they want to apologize, they wish they could apologize, um, there's also some sort of fury around your gain um, with this third party. Um, they're dealing with someone that's angry that you're you're well. Um, they're still trying to maintain something. Outcome is Page of Wands reverse. Bad news. Um, the bad news they're expecting. It has to do with your profession, being in the upright, your ex your expertise, your talent. I also love that this card says in very small letters that I never noticed before, omniscience connected to your profession. So it's like this present this presence of divinity, you know, a a hand an extra hand. Extra hands. Extra help. A sense of divinity around your purpose. A sense of purpose. And it feels like there could be, you know, artistry in whatever this is you're doing. You know, the approach is very beautiful. Um, it's a beautiful thing to watch. And also... Um, I like how there, there's these extra hands behind you that's at least two people helping you or it seems like you've got extra hands because there's some sort of omniscience connected to what you're doing. It seems elevated and it's very, very positive. And for them, that's bad news, but I feel like it's bad news because of whatever they tried to do here because they, they did something unjust. It wasn't just about walking away, it was about trying to trap you in something, but you have way too much inner peace. You meditate, you're, um, you handle things with simplicity. You know, in the present moment, I think you're, you can discern, you can discern, because you don't overindulge as well, you can discern tricky energy um you can discern negativity projections don't let your ego get in the way it's not to say that you don't have one everyone has one but i think you don't let it bother you you know you're in something for the long term whatever this is that your your north node is um It, it surpasses whatever this is, this indulgence. Because it's, it doesn't have a purpose. And it's, it's messy, it's messy. It's, there's, it's over, yeah, it's indulgence too much. With no purpose, there's no backing, there's no energetic backing there's no universal support because it's either feeding people's ego or there's a group of people spiraling in out of control all trying to take live out some type of kind of sickly it's sickly now because it's okay to party, to just, you know, whatever this is, it's just too much. 
It's not based on anything. Um, yeah. And I just want to know what the Seven of Swords reverse is in the subconscious. Someone's caught, they were cheating, they were stealing. Um, but they're exposed. But yeah, there's something about you not taking a loss because they're exposed. Deep down, and yeah, they, they weren't able to dominate you because something that they were trying to do here, people see it or people know. There's something about not being able to escape, escape a situation. Um, something that someone conceived of. This could also have to do with a child. There's something about you not getting caught up in some type of a party scene or being sold a dream. Something, something that's based on a lie. You not falling prey to a lie. Or that someone's lying, someone's trying to dominate someone. Um, there's something, yeah, there's something about something being made public here. Lying, cheating, stealing. Um, and it has to do with a romance or lack thereof. Um, someone criticizing you and not working anymore because something's exposed. Yeah, a lie. Someone lied. Um, someone gave away their power or, or someone wanted this bird to stop singing. Um, something lacked, lacked in principle. Um, someone was blocking innovation, blocking someone who's very unique. Um, and they're not protected doing this. They were never protected doing this. I think that's what this is about, the Seven of Swords Reverse. It's the fact that they're exposed is relieving some stress. That's how they feel in the subconscious. Rebellion. Um, that there's like people who are not going along with something here in regards to this group of people. There's some sort of mystery that's been unraveled that makes them look bad. They and this group of people, they look bad. Um, deep down, that's what's... It, it's based on a lie that they told about you or that they lied about their relationship to you. They were trying to keep you out of something and they were trying to make themselves look like the pillar pillars of society or something like that. And they were trying to keep you out of it, but now everybody knows what they're really up to. Um, they thought that they had strategized something perfectly, but it it's, was not a good strategy. It just leads to a loss, their own loss, not yours. Um, and there's something about you removing yourself from a drama that's also getting exposed or that you didn't get involved in a drama or that you moved away from a drama that's that's you know also yeah and somehow someone is two-faced here Pe they were wearing a mask and people now know what was going on um it's like something that you knew was happening and now people are seeing it they're connecting what was going on, something about you. Yeah, you have this vision also that you can see something or you saw something, but I think people can see through this lie past someone's mask. There could be people that don't wanna be around them because they don't wanna be part of this drama. But I, I feel like it's also people knowing something about this group of people, there's something sort of sick about it or sick not sort of sick, that is sick about it, and that you um, had the presence of mind to move away 
fun. Yeah, there's something about people understanding your position and why and what you've dealt with with this lie. And people might understand also that you you have a very strong third eye as well. Um, and I feel like there's some sort of admiration as well. The way that you navigated something as far as a drama goes that you didn't feed into something. Um, yeah, you didn't get into some type of a quarrel, some sort of like energy draining quarrel that would have made you suffer at the end of the day. You didn't get involved in it. There's something about removing yourself from it that is very res respectable. Yeah. And there's something about somebody who gave their power away for business that is not doing well or it's like it wasn't worth it um and and someone here who is a person of authority that um is making some type of a judgment call on this person or the situation yeah Yeah, there's definitely some type of um, admiration in regards to how you handled this, I feel like. And that's relieving some of the stress, even if you're not sure, if you don't know the exact details, or maybe you do, but you could be just feeling it energetically, um, that people know, people have a better idea, especially if someone is spreading lies, Someone could have stolen something from you as well, and people know about that. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.